The only thing left for us to do here on the Game Boy Advance side of things is to have a battle with the true champion of the Hoenn region. Now where the fruit is he exactly? Well, you need to go to Meteor Falls because of course Steven Stone would be in a place filled with a bunch of weird stones and stuff because that's sort of his thing. Now, the only question that I have on my mind is, where the fruit is Meteor Falls? Uh, the Fossil Maniac's house, though, I guess that's something we could show off, is something that gets different in the aftergame is that this guy actually dig a little deeper from last time. Fossils are so wonderful! It's so dreamy! So dreamy, okay, whatever you say. Oh, it's not safe that way. I was digging away, you see, when I, and the whole wall collapsed. I think it, there's a giant cavern underneath now. I've left it alone because I don't think there are any fossils there. But we could keep but we could keep on going and see a desert underpass. Now there's only one wild Pokemon here, and that is the Pokemon Ditto. Of course, it's the famous Pokemon that's known for transforming into any other Pokemon. As we will soon see. So Ditto is the only Pokemon you can get here. Or, excuse me, I guess it's not the only Pokemon you can get here, but it is the only place where you could obtain a Ditto. If you want to get one for breeding purposes, I believe that's what it's here for because it's the after game, you're trying to get all the Pokemon in the Pokedex, so of course they would want you to have a Ditto to make things a little bit easier for you. But besides that, if you go way over here to the very end, uh, continue to run wild Pokemon. Uh, there's a Loudred in here as well, but do not want to fight you, I know I'm not using repels. It's the end of the adventure, we should be using everything we got. But I don't know, I just want to save them in case- CAN'T ESCAPE, Torkoal! It's the final episode, you're um, you're more than 20 levels higher than it. I don't care if you're a stinking turtle. Ugh, fine, I'll use the stinking thing. I was gonna hope to find a ditto just cause I don't know, it'd be nice to like catch one or whatever. Not that I was actually gonna use it, but just for the sake of having something to end off the after game with. But no, I guess we're gonna have to settle for a very, my God, how long did this guy dig? The Claw Fossil, yes. Remember when we were in that uh, tower in the desert and we had to choose between the Claw Fossil and the Root Fossil? Whichever fossil you did not pick, the uh, that will, will end up over here in the after game. So now we could have both Lilip and Anorith, which is very, very nice. So, um, I don't know, I've been thinking about Lilip a lot lately. I kind of regret not having Cradilly as a member of my team in uh, Ultra Moon. I was considering it, but I just decided against it at the last second for whatever reason, and uh, I don't know, I was sort of hoping that uh, Pokemon Go, or Let's Go, whatever the Pokemon Switch game was going to be, uh, would be a compilation of like all the regions, so we could have like a Pokemon from each team on my, um, each region of my team. I know there's seven generations, so I'd have to leave one out, but uh, I'll flash the team up on screen that I had in mind, that before we found out it was going to be only Kanto. Uh, this is the team that I was originally going to go with, but that's not going to happen anymore, so I guess I'll have to rethink things. But whatever, that's just me, me going on about Pokemon that I want to use, and like, they're all Pokemon that I have wanted to use for years, but I just never have gotten around to it, so maybe one day, I don't know why I didn't go with Cradilly, it was just like a last second dumb decision and I just didn't do it, but whatever. Very minor nitpick, what I'm, now what's really important here is that I'm trying to figure out where the fruit of Meteor Falls is, I believe it's southward, so... The only other thing that I could think of, I actually wasn't intending to show off the uh, cave right there, it was just sort of a happy accident because I ran into it. Um, the only other thing that I could think of that we haven't shown off, there is a special cave on Route 103. Uh, is Meteor Falls like up there? Huh. I looked it up on like the stinging, I'm sorry this is like a horrible finale, but like it's just I haven't been here in so stinging long that I don't remember anything. Uh, let's see, last workshop, turn it on, can you guys? Um, the only thing I haven't shown is there's a cave on Route 103 that opens up after you beat the Elite Four, and in that cave you can only find wild Zubats normally, but every time you go to a Nintendo event you can find a Johto Pokemon in there, it's completely random which one you get, and, uh, it's, that's just it, you just find a Johto Pokemon and it helps you complete the Pokedex basically. I'll flash up which Pokemon are on, what you could get there on screen, but they're nothing really special. Unless you're just trying to complete the Pokedex. Good morning! So, because I'm just a complete and utter nincompoop who cannot remember anything, apparently, I'm just gonna cut away to wherever the fruit meteor falls is, alright? Sorry about this. See you guys in just a moment. Oh, I was on the right track. It was just that I stopped prematurely. No, it is going down here. I'm just completely out of it. It's the end of the game. Couldn't be have a Midnight Beyond finale, a finale of a finale of an after game finale without some sort of mess up of some kind. So hopefully we'll be done with failures. Maybe I'm a lot more confident in the future of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and like, we're just maintaining the old Midnight Beyond way of messing things up constantly. 
That's it, right guys? No, probably not. But how the heck do we get through here? Just run through here. Thankfully, I've fought all these trainers already. We just go on through here and... Uh, make a bunch more mistakes and dramatic tension. But we have arrived at the entrance of Meteor Falls. Now there's another cave that has become accessible to you after you beat the Elite Four. It is only an emerald, so if you have Ruby or Sapphire, don't bother doing this. And in order to access this special cave, you need a Pokemon that knows Surf and Waterfall. So I wound up teaching Waterfall to Waylord and I got rid of Hyper Beam. Kind of a dumb idea, I know, but I didn't want to get rid of Water Spout or um, Ice Beam, so... I just wound up doing that instead because I very rarely ever actually used Hyper Beam on Waylord and have it actually be useful, so I just did that. Go ahead and use Waterfall right here. Very unepic animation, I know, but whatever. Inside this cave. There's a lot of branching pathways, yes, but... Huh. Might be something... Might be leading up to something much greater, but for now, we're just gonna keep on going the ways that are available to us. Uh, now there's a bit of a branching path. Kind of reminds me of the Cave of Origin. Is that what it's called? The Cave of Origin in... Uh... Red and blue, or if I red and green. Uh, it has that same sort of color to it. And who are you guys? They're trainers? John, we've always battled Pokemon together as a twosome. We have confidence in ourselves. Uh, is this where John and Dovey evacuated to after the verses ended? John and Jay. <laughs> okay. Did not mean for that to rhyme. This is not how the final episode of Dead Time was supposed to be! I was just supposed to fight one stinging trainer! You're not even worth my god for a second time! Ugh! Oh my god, that was a complete waste of time. All they did was do protect and belly drum over and over again. Young trainer, if the chance arrives, will we battle some We're getting a phone number in the final episode? Fine, sure. Repel? It's the last stinking repel. I better be going the right stinking way. I'm not going the right stinking way! Go back! Jeez. Oh my god, just go over this way instead, into this cave, this is what I get for not going here before, or I couldn't have gone here before. Team 23, Iron Tail? Huh. Can anyone learn this? It's a good move, it's just that I don't know if anyone can learn it. Uh, Trico and Torkoal. Torkoal? Your little tiny turtle tail can learn this? That's cute. Um, Trico, I don't think so. Torkoal, maybe? I'm gonna say no to it simply because the battle we're about to face will probably not have it be all that useful, so I'm just gonna say no. Though, if it were earlier in the, in the adventure, I might have gotten rid of Body Slam for it. I just kind of like the paralysis thing for it a bit more, so we're just gonna keep going. And, of course, that is a Steel-type TM, and when where there's steel... There's Steven. Get ready for the fight of your life. I've gotten basically everything all set and prepared, as ready as I ever could be. I'll just look at the team one final time on the Emerald side of things. Torkoal is level 60. With the moves Heat Wave, Body Slam, Overheat, and Sludge Bomb. Waylord is level 60 with Surf, Ice Beam, Water Spout, and Waterfall. Hariyama, Fake Out, Brick Break, Earthquake, and Double Edge. Salabi, Shadow Ball, Faint Attack, Confuse Ray, Psychic. Swellow with Fly, Steel, Double Team, and Return. And Trico with Screech, Solar Beam, Giga Drain, and Return. It's been an interesting journey, my friends. But now. It's time to wrap things up, once and for all. Oh wow, Jeffrey, I'm amazed you knew how to find me. Do you, uh, maybe think of me as just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battled alongside each other at the Sutopolis Space Center. Uh, excuse me, it was actually the Fortree Space Center. Sutopolis City is the final city in Pokemon Emerald where we got the 8th Gym Badge. There is no Space Center there. How could you possibly have a typo in the final stinking area? Uh, you should have a very good idea about how good I am. So good that I don't even remember where the Space Center is. 
Okay, Jeffrey, if you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Oh boy, we got to face off against Steven, and he's a million times more powerful than he would have been as a champion in Ruby or Sapphire. And he uses May's battle theme for some reason. I kind of wish he used the champion theme, but oh well. He's starting off with Skarmory, my arch nemesis. I'm not going to mention that anymore because it's getting really sinking old. It's level 77, so that is why I leveled up my Pokemon to level 60. Do I think I could benefit with a bit more levels? Yes, indeed. But I'm just going to go at it and hope for the best. Last time, I'll say hope for the best, hopefully. Gonna go ahead and use Heat Wave. I don't know if this Skarmory has spikes or if spikes even existed in Gen 3. I'm getting all Kerbobble Fobble with all the different gens and everything. Let's just see. Okay, I'll gladly have you use your uh, one of your full restores right here and now. That's a-okay with me. If I get him to use another one right here, then that'd be awesome. Or a critical, or a burn, either or. Come on, Torgal, if I can get any of those things. Oh, I actually did get one of those things. How wonderful. Skarmory goes down, and he used a full restore. That's fantastic. Next Pokemon is Mew. Metagross, his strongest Pokemon. I feel like he's sending it out for a reason if he's using... Uh, if I have Torgal a fire type, then he's sending it out for a reason. It's a psychic, a psychic steel type. So, it re it's just normal with ghost attacks. Uh, fighting, it resists, like, it's such an annoying type. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick with Torkoal, see what happens. Because Torkoal is definitely what I wanted uh, to use against this thing, no matter what. So we're gonna use Overheat, see what that does. Earthquake, that's why he wanted to send out Metagross. Metagross is regarded as like one of the most evil Pokemon in Generation 3! And you could see why. It is pure stinking evil. Thankfully he doesn't have any Mega Evolution right now, but neither do we, so we can't use Epic Battle between Mega Salabi and Mega, Mega Metagross. Trust that five times fast. Even though uh, Salabi lost that battle, but whatever. Meteor Mash, looks very pretty, but it's very deadly. Oh, jeez, are you serious? Oh, God, and he got the buff. Attack, Rose. God stinking darn it. Uh, let's go with Hariyama. Oh, he's, he's gotta have a psychic attack, so this isn't gonna be good. Fake out. So, not very effective, I know, but ground? I can't remember. It's, I think ground is super effective on steel. It was like, I was trying to use steel wing on Groudon and didn't do much, so... Ground is that good on steel types? Wait, did you have levitate for its ability? If he does, I swear to stinking god. I mean, your match that's just a steel attack. Shouldn't one hit KO Hari? I'm shouldn't one hit KO carry. Wow. Are you serious? My stinking god. I might not actually be able to win this right now. I might have to do off screen training. Jesus Christ. Water spout. My strongest. No. Well, if I do survive it, then it's gonna be weaker because I didn't go first. Uh, Waylord, can you survive an earthquake from this thing? Can anyone survive any- I'm- wow. Okay. Waylord is the only Pokemon who could survive from Metagross. Awesome. Huh. Swellow is resistant, immune to earthquake. Hooray. Double team! Oh, and I'm faster somehow. Hooray. Let's start double team spamming and think of a plan, I guess. And by plan it- wow. Cool. Psychic. First try. You survive, Trico. Trico and Waylord are the only ones who could survive the wrath of Metagross. How many revives do I have left? Thirteen. If I could be cheap in the Wallace battle, I could be cheap in the Steven battle. If this actually works, I will be amazed, but I highly doubt it will. If I tried doing this earlier with more Pokemon uh, buffer, then I might have been able to pull it off, but I might have to accept my loss and try again. Which means I shouldn't waste the revives, because 
Fine. We'll just take the loss. Let's try this again! Starting off with Skarmory again, buddy! Can you be as pathetically easy as you were last time? Now my question is, can Torgal really not survive an earthquake from... Uh, are, you can't miss right now! Can Torgal really not survive an earthquake from Metagross? Because it wasn't at full health when it got hit by it. Torgal, you got crazy good defense. I know it's super effective against you, but still. I don't know, maybe he could, who knows? Uh, do I want to use a full- no, I don't. I just would have preferred if you just did the attack- You do have spikes, and you just decided not to use it before, and now you're not using your full restore. This is a crummy timeline. It's the worst stinking timeline ever. But that's just only going to make it all the more better when I win. All the more better. Is that a sentence? I don't know. It is now because I made it one, and Metagross, great. Trico and Hariyama. Trico, you're a meat shield. Get out there. Uh, hate to put it so bluntly, but that's what you are right now. We're just gonna heal up Torkoal, and- Oh, if I- Oh, no, that's a problem, because, like, I've been surviving with, like, little tidbits of HP, so I can't- Fine, I have to hashtag reset, because- Can I have spikes? Fine, I'll use overheat on the first turn. I don't know why I was against it. Let's try this again! Oh, boy, Steven Stone. Start with Skarmory, a big old ton twister. Now, okay, I'll go ahead and use over here on the first turn just so I can get rid of it. It does have spikes. God darn it. So, here's the thing. I keep on surviving with, like, little tidbits of HP. So, am I actually... This might be bad. I can't... I might not be able to win this because if I send out Pokemon, like Trico or Wailord, they're going to die because they can't survive What's-His-Face's Earthquake anymore. So, I sort of need to, like keep on resetting until I one hit KO it without it using spikes? I don't know, I couldn't switch out right there because I want to just see if I could survive an earthquake from this thing first. First and foremost, let's try and use overheat again. Can I survive an earthquake normally? If I have full HP, because last time I didn't have full HP. Survey says, yes. Good to know. Huh. So that's where things become super confusing, I know, but... Uh, my special attack just keep going down. I don't know if I was stronger than Heat Wave or weak. It was probably stronger because it's still a stronger attack. Isn't that how it's gonna always work? It's like, yeah. What do you think about it? does no special attack decrease? Like the offense of the Pokemon itself doesn't decrease. So this is always gonna be more powerful than Heat Wave. So I should use it again then. In that case, not like it matters because I'm dead, but whatever. Oh, I did some damage on it, but here's the thing. Now that the spikes are out, I'm going to take a little tiny bit of damage, and that will be enough to have Metagross defeat me in one hit. So now Wailord and Trico can't survive this anymore. Is that correct? It's not correct. Okay. So I'm just freaking out a bit too much. Oh, he does have a Citrus Berry, of course, because it's the strongest Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Gives it the Royal Carpet, Red Carpet Treatment. Oh, uh, phooey. Leftovers are really nice. I don't know why I didn't equip them. And you're wondering why I didn't use these. None of my Pokemon could accept them because their stats are all maxed out or whatever. Uh, <sighs> this makes me cranky. Um... I guess revive, revive Torkoal or how many four stars? I got four. It's used one, two earthquakes so far. Three, four, five, six. I do. I really want to keep on stalling. Can I even stall? I don't know. Huh. This is gonna be the most obnoxious victory in the universe if I actually do win this. Uh, let's see, he's gonna go and use Meteor Mash, doesn't use his stronger attack because he thought he could get away with it, but he cannot because I healed. Oh, uh, but it's still crazy strong! Oh, of course it was a critical hit. Use Full Restore again. It's crazy that Meteor Mash is his weak attack. Uh... Yay, missing! I like missing! Missing's always nice. 
uh, Surf, I guess? Even though he's gonna heal, it's not gonna beat unless I get a critical, which I doubt I will because nothing good ever happens on my end. Uh, Earthquake, okay, Surf. We got... Oh, if only I gotten a critical. He's gonna heal. There's no way he's not going to heal. So I should just revive Torkoal, I guess. Yep, and there goes the full restore, which it got used on Skarmory, but he's probably got more than one. Wallace had like four of them, so I don't know how many he has. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Will he use Earthquake again is my question, though. And the thing is, I don't want to lose Wailord in this battle because all of his Pokemon, of course, are like rock and ground and steel types, so I want to still use Stinking Wailord. Uh, that's normal damage. It's half my HP. It might be enough. He uses Meteor Mash again. Oh, he's using Earthquake, so it doesn't matter. Uh, poopy. Oh, Torkoal's stats reset. Fruit! He's not fully healed, though. Trico, Meat Shield, go! I'm sorry, but I, for I completely forgot about that. Trico's or Torkoal's stats are reset because it got put in the Pokeball. One full restore left, oh my god. I might be able to beat this thing with an overheat if I survive it. So he's a little Meteor Mash. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, I don't know why he's using that attack though. Cause he could get away with it, that's why. Huh, I'm doing a lot, a lot of crazy stat calculations in my head right now. So that's the way to get Torkoal switched out and fully healed and all that jazz. He's probably gonna use Earthquake. I'll survive it, hopefully. Overheat. Come on, just survive the Earthquake, Torkoal. You've done it before, you can do it again. I believe in you, 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 yes! Okay, go and use overheat, don't miss. Okay, full health though, is it gonna beat it? Survey says! Not quite! Oh. Now is he going to heal again? Will he use it again on the same Pokemon? I don't have any healing items anymore, so I just have to go for it. Fruit pizzas. Oh. Swellow's the only thing that's faster than that thing, so... And I doubt Swellow could beat it with any attack, even if it doesn't heal. Oh, he's not healing. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Hariyama for free damage. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Just trying to think of all my options. Uh, let's try Fake Out. I'm gonna try and keep the commentary going because I don't know, this might make the final recording. I have no idea. Uh, just so tiny. Damage. Brick Break. Oh, I forgot about the Quick Claw! Quick Claw saved me! Jesus Christ, Hariyama, I love you! Oh my god, I completely forgot about Quick Claw. Like, right when I hit it, I was like, oh wait, Quick Claw might happen. And it did! Oh my Christ, Armaldo's his next Pokemon. This is the evolved form of Anorith. It's a rock bug type, so... Uh, ground is good? Bug resists fighting, right? I think that's why I say I mean, bug is super effective on fighting, isn't it? Either way, I should probably switch. Wailord would be good. Like, the rest of his Pokemon are part rock, I'm pretty sure. This is also the only Pokemon that Swallow has a chance of doing damage to. Um, no, he has another one that Swallow could do damage to. Huh. Armaldo's stinking monster. Oh my god. I'll stick with Hariyama, see what happens. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Sending out Armaldo. The thing's stinking terrifying. Let's use Earthquake. Aerial Ace, that's why he sent it out. God darn, it has a flying type move. Not same type of attack bonus though, so I could survive it. Earthquake, is it super effective? No, it's not. So bug resist ground? Ugh. Fighting, is that gonna work? Can I even survive this? No, I can't. Oh boy. Um Let's go over Swellow. I know Swell is gonna be faster, but it's a rock bug type, so it won't, it'll just do normal damage. That's the problem. Aerialis never misses, so no point in using double team, so go ahead and use Fly. 
But it probably wouldn't use every lace on me. Yeah, it's gonna use ancient power. Ancient power only has five PP. Uh Yeah, that didn't do all that much. Swallows, not expecting you to do all that much. Can you survive this at least? That'd be nice. Just have a turn. No. Trico's also pretty speedy. Trico's dead. <laughs> Trico Waylord. I guess we'll just use Surf, see what happens. Yep, the spikes. Gotta love them spikes. Let's see what that could do. I'm faster than it? What? And I we Okay, sure. Agron. Steel ground type. Uh I guess we'll just keep on going with Whale or we beat half his team. I'm still faster. Okay, Whale Lord, I don't know where this magical speed came from, but I like it. I really like it! That wasn't even a critical! My god, I love you, Whale Lord! Oh my god, 61! And there's a 9 down there, so it's like a 69, like a star cross lover, long distance relationship 69. Cradley! Grass Rock type, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. It's not his last Pokemon, is it? I don't think so, he's got two more, right? I can't remember what the last, last one is then. Uh. Cradley, is it slow? I don't know. It's a. Problem is, it's a. Oh, wait! Grass rock. So that means it's quad weak to ice, right? Rock is weak to ice, right? And I have ice beam. Oh, I was thinking, love this thing. It's crazy good at defense, I'm pretty sure, though. So. Okay, I'm still faster than it. If I could get a freeze on this thing, oh my god. Wait, Lord, you'll get so many stinking Scooby Snacks if I get a freeze on- OH MY GOD, WE'RE BEING GOOD TONIGHT, BABY! YEAH! Wait, is he first the first time? WHAT?! GOD DAMN DARN IT, NO! Come on, survive, survive, survive! <sighs> oh, that was epic for half a second. I hate that defrosting could happen on the turn that it happens. I never understood that. Oh, I don't know if I'm faster than it. I don't know if I can survive an, a an attack from it. Oh, we gotta revive. I don't feel safe. Go ahead and revive Waylord. I'm faster than it. I know I'm faster than it, so... Do something stupid. Ancient power, nope. I could raise all of its stats, potentially. Am I... I could survive it? Interesting. Am I faster? Please be faster. God sing and darn it! Oh, I should have used I should have used Confuse Ray first. It's just that I didn't know if I was gonna be fast. Oh my god, Salabi, I love you! Yes! Jesus stink of Christ! Oh, and I don't know if this is his last Pokemon. He used what did he use? Skarmory, Agron, Metagross, Cradily, Armaldo. He has one more, but I can't remember what it is. Is it's a steel type or a rock type? I have no idea. Oh, oh, really? Do I do damage or I have to do damage? Cause I, I, I don't know. But revive? I don't know who I should revive. Is the problem? It's going to be a rock type, so Torkoal shouldn't be good against it. But it might be a steel type. Why don't I research these things? Cause I like the surprise and suspense. I wish it was a Mawile, that'd be hilarious. Oh, I want to look it up. I, I really want to look it up, but I don't want to. <sighs> I should know this because I fought him already in Omega Alpha Sapphire. Oh, okay, I looked it up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. I hate that thing. Oh. His last Pokemon, the ones I would want for it, are Salabi, Waylord, and Trico. Fooey. I'm gonna regret this, but Shadow Ball. Somehow I'm faster than that. We have Tide Speed? Oh, God. Confused. If we could get a special defense alert, hit yourself with confusion. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, I want that lowered, lowered stats, give me those lowered stats, lowered stats, lowered stats, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Special defense fell. Hit yourself with confusion again, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. No, Giga Drain, you're only getting 2 HP out of me, buddy. Oh boy. 
Now with that special defense lower, quad weakness I'm pretty sure, if not quad, then at least still just regular weakness. Can an ice beam defeat it? Let's find out. Oh, the spikes! I forgot about the spikes. Ice beam, go. Can we defeat it? Yes! Okay! Jesus, sinking Christ. His last Pokemon. I have no idea if I'm faster than this thing. A clay doll. Crazy good defense. Good special attack, I'm sure. Ground psychic type. I'm gonna revive Salabi just so I could get the H just so Wailord could faint and I could revive it again and get more HP because that's the only way I could heal Wailord is to get it back is to get it fainted and then heal it back with full HP. This is so dumb, but I'm gonna do it. Uh the question is how much damage is it, oh, it has Earthquake on top of that. Wonderful. Wailord, can you survive an earthquake from Clay Doll? Not with that HP, you can't. <sighs> I want to know if I'm faster than you, but I'm not allowed to find out because I'm sure you'll destroy me as soon as I attack. <sighs> was that even more health than I had before or was it the same? I don't even know. Oh god, this is a fight to the finish. My only hope is if Waylord survives this. And I'm faster so I could hit it twice. Let's see what we got. I'm slower than Clay Doll. Can I survive it? A critical, of course that was a critical. That was an epic battle. Going with a bit of a different strategy this time, I'm starting with Waylord. I know it's not super effective, but I want to try using Water Spout. Using Aerial Ace. I was sort of hoping for the spikes just so I could get the full power. That's a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. I want to see what that does. I checked and Steel Resist Ice, which I didn't think it did, but it's also a flying type, so now I'll just do normal damage. I'm losing a lot more HP on Wailer than I would like! What the fruit? We get a freeze on here, and then I'll give Whaler back his Scooby Snacks. Of course not. Uh, Philly. He withdrew Skarmory, what the fruit? Okay, at least I switched the, to a different attack. Oh, wow, wow, I might actually one-hit KO this thing by accident. That'd be funny. Can I one-hit KO Agron by accident? Yo, come on, what the fruit? Oh, at least he's wasting his full restores. I will be more than okay with that. If he just wastes all of his full restores right now, if I keep on getting the minuscule HP thing, because I know I'm faster than it, and I can't, I've one hit KO'd it before. Okay, he wasted a full restore and got rid of his Agron. Very, very nice. And he didn't use spikes, so I don't have to worry about that. Cray Dilly. Cray Dilly, Cray Dilly, Cray Dilly. Cray Dilly. Was I faster than it? I don't even remember anymore. I don't remember if I was faster than it. God darn it, I hate the world. Why don't I remember anything? Grass rock type. Hariyama? Grass doesn't resist fighting, so... Hariyama might be our best bet. Let's go for it. Oh my god, like, I, I'm enjoying this fight at least because like it's going in a bunch of different directions and I have to think of a new strategy every time because I have different options available to me. This time around, I actually have items! I have my whole team not dead in the first two Pokémon! Amazing! Okay, just little tiny damage, just always nice to have free damage. Oh boy. Brick break, let's go! Giga Drain, oh, fooey. I hate Giga Drain when I'm not using it. Oh, let's see, go! Brick, brick, brick break! Break, break, break dance, break, break, break dance, break, break, break dance, here we go! If you get that reference, you're super awesome, cause it's from a really great show! Oh my god, I wanna, I wanna rewatch it again. I feel like I've rewatched it like 20 times, or like for the past 10 years, but like I just love it so singing much, it's so good. Okay, red health? No? Uh, full restore, that might just be because he has Giga Drain on his side, so he doesn't need it. I don't really know, but what I do know is that I just beat Cradilly with only Hariyama, which I very much appreciate. Okay. 
But now I have a fighting type on the field, so of course he's gonna send out one of his monstrous psychic types. Or Skarmory. I forgot that thing still existed. Uh, No one's faster than it. I'm just gonna go... Ooh, if I send a Torkoal, he's sending out Metagross. Hmm... Swallow Hiramit Shield. You can't do anything in this fight. So spend this turn healing Waylord and Hariyama, I guess? That's all I could think to do, really. I feel like if I do that, though, like he'll know I have a weak Pokemon and he starts spamming spikes. I don't want him to do that. Trico. Quad resists it. No. Salabi. Why am I thinking Salabi for this? I don't know. Skarmory is crazy fast. Skarmory outspeeds everything. So no. I don't like this. Either way, like, I just don't want him to set up spikes. But nothing is gonna outspeed it. Just do it. <laughs> Have to face it eventually, I guess. He's got four Pokemon left. Okay. Oh, he had a lot more HP than I thought he did. Uh. Let's go and use... Fuller. So we're only four? On Waylord. And Toxic. Okay, I'm okay with using Toxic. Uh, phooey, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because Swallow can't do anything, so I might as well just. Do I start double teaming so I could stall? No, I'm out of luck. He has Aerial Ace, though. Has toxic spikes, not toxic spikes, but spikes toxic. Uh, well, yeah, it was using area lace, wasn't it? So don't bother with air, with double team. Uh, let's try return. That's really all I can do. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Okay, and steel wing. So as long as I survive this, then I should be able to take it out. As long as he doesn't stink and heal like a jerk, he heals like a jerk. <sighs> I don't know why. I don't know. I thought he was done with the full restores, but no, he didn't use it with Cradley because Cradley could heal on its own. Uh, you're not outspeeding it, so keep that in mind. I can't do anything this turn. Full restore. Hariyama? Is Hariyama going to be useful, though, anymore? Is that, is that the question? Should I save it? I kind of want to save it. So what do I do, though? You know what? Do I have, like, any of those items that, like, only work for the battle? Like, the X-accuracy items? I doubt it, but... It'd be something if I could use that right now. Um, I think I just have to face the music. Oh, I am faster than it. What? Okay. Maybe it's even speed. Well, at least I got that extra little damage in. Oh, wow. Critical hit. Nice. Okay. And there goes Steelwing. So, Swallow, you did a lot more than I thought you were going to do. So, I appreciate that at least. And critical hit. That's completely unnecessary. I like that I actually have a chance in this fight, that uh, it's not completely one-sided and I have a possibility of winning. I sent out Torkoal, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> like, what? Did I send out Torkoal? I probably wasn't thinking. Heat wave. And it's using spikes! Why do you use spikes? I don't like using spikes! Use heat wave. At least I didn't use the crazy fire attack, so now I have full power fire. Full fire power! And he's sending out Metagross. And full HP so I can survive the earthquake. I might have a chance here. Uh, but his last three Pokemon are monsters. Oh my god. We definitely took out his three weakest ones first. Let's try Overheat. There goes Earthquake. Why can't Earthquake ever miss? Um, go 
for overheat. Thankfully, it doesn't miss. It's full power. Okay, I get like a critical or something. Just some sort of miracle. Come on, Torkoal. Nope. Oh, boy. And he, oh, I forgot about the citrus bear. You're a jerk, you know that? Oh, uh, boy. There goes Psychic. I knew that was coming. I could have switched to Salabi and gotten like free switch, basically. Um. Did we learn how to speed this thing? I don't remember. Probably not, so we're just gonna go with regular surf. I think I could beat it with this damage. Let's see. Using Psychic. Kind of a weird attack. Oh god, stop it. Okay, cool. Surf. Oh, God darn it. I gotta use this turn wisely then. Revive Torkoal? Oh boy. He's got a full restore. Oh my god, he's got three full restores. God darn it. Full restore on Torkoal. If I'd known that, I would have full restored Waylord first, and then. Oh my god. Shadow Ball. And boom goes the dynamite. Cool. It's time to use our third overheat. Or second overheat. I don't think I know. It is full power again, though. Which is nice. Earthquake. Please don't get a critical. Uh, he's definitely got final boss material written all over him, Jesus Christ! Come on, just give me a critical. Give me a critical. Just do something nice for me once, game. Come on. Do it, 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 do it. Uh, phooey. It is more damage than last time, though. It's just that I can't go first, so... Survive, Waylord. I don't even think Fake Out could take it out with... Hmm. There he goes. Let's go with Hariyama. Maybe we'll get lucky again and have another Quick Claw celebration. Oh, I forgot about the spikes! <laughs> I always keep on forgetting about them spikes. Fake out! Free damage! Last time I say that in the LP? Maybe, possibly? Brick break. I did it! Yes! Oh my god! Oh. Jesus, I do not deserve the stinking luck. So what's next? He's got Armaldo, Steel, Brown type or Rock type or whatever. Hariyama's my best bet for that, isn't it? Did I revive Torkoal or is he dead? Torkoal's dead. Waylord's faster, I think? Let's see Hariyama. Uh, I don't know, we might have another Quick Claw victory. Oh, you know, Armaldo, I was thinking Agron. God darn it, I'm dumb. No, I'm not faster than it. Oh, no. God, why do you gotta have similar names? Was I f was Waylord faster than Armaldo? I think it was. I have two full restores left. Uh, his last Pokemon are Claydol and Armaldo, so Torpo wouldn't really be useful for either of them. Break, break. Oh, I'm faster, I'm faster, I'm faster, I'm faster. Okay, regular damage. Huh, Slash. I thought it said Splash for a second. I was like, what? Uh, Waylord, let's go. Wish you were fully healed for this. Oh, jeez. Uh, you surf? I am faster. Can we get a one-hit kill? Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. Possibly. No. Can I survive whatever this is? Slash? Yes! Oh my god! No! Why? Why? Why do you have so many items? I don't appreciate it! No! God darn it! Ugh. Full restore. Because Waylord could take a hit from this thing. Multiple hits even, so just revive it right now. See if I could get away with it. Using Slash. Uh, you surf? 
And then it's taken care of. My sinking god. Now what do we do? Level 61, hooray. Last Pokemon is Claydol. Trico, your grass attacks are super effective. It's just a matter of can you go first and can you survive anything from it? Let's find out. Oh my god, this is stinking horrible. I can't believe I keep on making it to the last Pokemon. Like, I was thinking it was gonna be a full clean sweep every time on his end, and then I would have to do off screen training. I can't get a Solar Beam in, I'm not even gonna try. Giga Drain. I'm not faster than Claydol. Oh, Trico. Focus Band Celebration? Oh, interesting. It's a lot more survival than I thought you were gonna get, but... Oh wait, no, the Giga Drain gives me some HP, so I could survive his next attack. Potentially. Uh-huh. But I'm not faster than it, so I can't charge up a Solar Beam. Uh, let's just get in whatever damage we can. Salabi is super effective as well with the Ghost Attacks. It's a matter of survival as well. Let's do that. Oh, 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 okay. A bit more HP than before. I might be able to survive this. Let's see. Earthquake. If I went with Trico on the field, that'd be amazing. Uh, I thought positive for a second. My mistake. <laughs> Down goes Trico. Didn't I regret not using... Confuse Ray on the first turn or something? Or am I faster than it? I'm not faster, okay. Good thing I didn't do Confuse Ray. Can I survive just one attack? Just one attack, just one attack. Okay, good. Shadow Ball? And that's it! We stinkin' did it! We defeated Steven. You... I had no idea you'd become so strong. Neither did I. But I guess while you're on your life journey, it's hard to see the progress you made all laid out in front of you. But just take a moment to realize where you are right now and appreciate just how much you've accomplished. Come to think of it, ever since our paths first crossed in Granite Cave in Duford, I had this feeling. I thought that you would eventually become the champion. My predictions usually come true. And where will you go from here? <laughs> Even I couldn't tell you that. And that's it. That's all he'll say. I believe you can rematch him anytime again after you uh, fight the Elite Four again. The Elite Four doesn't change after uh, beating it for a uh, first time, so they don't get like new Pokemon or new levels like it, they did in Fire Red and Leaf Green. But that's about it. We have defeated the champion Steven. Nothing else, nothing else left to do but head on over to Alpha Sapphire one last time and complete our adventure. I didn't think I could fly here, I was just sort of clicking on it for the sake of clicking on it. But, uh, the aftergame of Alpha Sapphire doesn't have credits, so I guess I'll just talk about the thoughts on this LP right now. It's a cool idea. I, I'm sorry if it was just, like, really scrambled. I feel like a lot of this is gonna be post-commentated. At the time of recording this right now, I haven't even attempted to, I haven't even started recording the Alpha Sapphire stuff, so I apologize if, like, when I say it's, like, inconsistent with anything, because I don't know how that's all gonna turn out. But, uh, just the way things turned out, I guess I forgot. The one thing I forgot was my 3DS capture card which is what the majority of the things I wanted to record uh, on this trip that I'm currently on was going to be done. So I had to switch things around and stuff. Originally, Code Princess was going to be the first LP of Year 7. It was going to start early, like I was hoping, but things didn't turn out that way because reasons and stuff. But, um, if you're wondering why I didn't just switch it out for a different game, I actually did, like, the first LP of Year 7 was going to be some other game, but then I was like, it's going to take way too long to get that thing started. Jackie. Thanks for ruining the ambience. Um, I thought I was gonna start this LP, I thought I was gonna start your set with a different LP, but then I was like, it's gonna take uh, way too long to get that thing all prepared and ready to go, so I switched it with Code of Princess, and Code of Princess wound up having that problem as well, so 
I apologize, like, everything's just been so scrambled and stuff, and I don't know when this is getting released within year 7. Maybe it'll be the first thing to get released within year 7, because I could sort of do that, because uh, it doesn't go to towards the counter. It's like a continuation of an old LP rather than a new one. And I guess just one last thing we could do before we end off the segments in Emerald real quick. We could re we could go ahead and bring back to life this fossil Pokemon that we just got. And then we could say goodbye to the Game Boy Advance. Quite literally, honestly, because Pokemon Emerald, as of right now, since I do have the next 60 Let's Plays planned of what I want to do, Pokemon Emerald is the second to last Game Boy Advance Let's Play that I will ever do on my channel unless something changes. Unless I fall in love with a Game Boy Advance game that I already know of and I just didn't realize it yet, but as of right now, Pokemon Emerald is the second to last Game Boy Advance Let's Play I'll ever do. I'm sure you can imagine what the last Game Boy Advance Let's Play will be, but we're still very far away from when we'll actually get to that one. So for now, Let's bid farewell to a very wonderful system, one that means a lot to me and to a lot of other people, one of the first systems I ever owned, and one that started a lot of wonderful memories later down the line. I know we still have some unfinished business in Alpha Sapphire, but in terms of our journey through the Game Boy Advance side of things, we're just about finished next time on Pokemon Delta Emerald. The finale. We're going to wrap up our journey with Zinnia. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.